Talking about. Welcome to What They Talking About Podcast. I'm your boy Jay. I got Cozy Laz and Quan. You are now tuned in to season two, episode nine. Let's get it. Today, we got big special guests in the building. Yes, sir. <laughs> Pink Dog in the house. He's not talking about me this time. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> not this time. Pink Rosa. <laughs> <laughs> the boss. My boy. Big cuz. Think OJ. What's good, cuz? What's good? What's good, man? What they talking about, man? <laughs> what they oh, talking Brand, about? I love it. I love it. <laughs> what do you say? What they talk what about. What they talk about. <laughs> they talk about us. We the only thing to talk about, man. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, ex- that's exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. About? Um, it's good, family. Man, salute to y'all boys, man. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate, appreciate you. Appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you brother. Truth, man, you know what I'm saying? Keeping this joint going. Keeping it tea, keeping it lit. Proud of y'all boys, man. Word. Thank you. We're That's absolutely. love. We're proud That's of you. Love. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah exactly. It go both ways, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Most oh, definitely. He's all, like, he's all on brand. Absolute. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, see? What yeah. they talking Facts. about. You know, Facts. it's all in there. We, about, oh, we about to tee absolute up. <laughs> <Facts>. <laughs> we are absolute. You better mm-hmm. believe it. There it is. Um. So... I have a question. Look, oh, look, I told you off the rip. I told you. Thing, man. Stand on, stand on brain. The only reason why I have a question is because you said you had a story. So, I mean, I feel like you might as well just bring us in with the story. With the story? Yes, yes sir. Yeah. Let's yeah. go straight to it. Yo, I don't know, man. The story might take the whole show, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Ain't gonna <laughs> shit. Shit. Tell the story. <laughs> Yo, funny shit, man. <clears throat> Friday. This past Friday. <clears throat> October 29th. Bro, birthday. Jizzle birthday, you know what I'm saying? I wake up. I'm, I'm matter of fact, I'm up late as hell because I was working on some shit, mm-hmm. and I was up late as hell. I had a big weekend coming up. We had Rolling Loud coming up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Greensboro, our last show on the tour, and all that stuff. So I'm there, and we was working on that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I, I wake up, I'm half sleep, and my phone going off. Like I got a couple DMs. I'm looking at my DMs. I'm like, all right, I'm looking at the joints. Mm-hmm. I seen one joint, and it was from Facebook. It was from Facebook. <laughs> crazy. But I'm half sleep though. And yeah. the crazy thing is, before I got this DM, like the past couple of days, I've been looking up and, and doing research on the metaverse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That new that new shit. Yeah. Whatever, you know what I'm saying that shit is about. Mm-hmm. My boy put me on that shit. And then I seen it again. And I was watching it and I'm like, okay, and I seen, I seen they changing the name from Facebook to Meta. Yep. And shit like that. So I'm like, but I'm half sleep Friday morning and shit. And it's like some something saying like, yo. You gotta look, and it's it's from Facebook, but it's my Instagram, and it's saying I gotta log into my shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's a DM, but the, mm-hmm. the DM it, it looks so official, like it looks so official. So I'm like half sleep, and I just log into my shit. You know what I'm saying? And when I log into it, I get a notification like um, attempt to log in from a Zio Prom Galaxy something like oh, that shit. nine oh, oh, shit. Shit. by Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? I'm still half asleep. I just got the notification. Mm-hmm. Then next thing I know, my Instagram say you are logged out. Oh yeah, oh, you're logged out of get shit. you logged out. Like I'm logged out of my shit. Oh shit. Then I'm like, what the fuck, bro? I they go to see it. my. They changed. They got into my shit. Changed the motherfucking recovery emails and the recovery phone number. Mm-hmm. So I couldn't. My shit was done. Damn. Didn't, de- didn't delete my page. No nothing. Then delete it. No they nothing. They just my add page my shit. Now, <laughs> really confiscated my page, bro. Yeah. My Instagram. I swear. Man, always, bro. I'm telling y'all, this shit was crazy. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? So I'm like, man, damn, I'm like, damn, what the fuck I'm gonna do, man? Mm-hmm. These motherfuckers got my shit. Like, yo, you know what I'm saying? They could have been, they got control of my shit. Yeah, they could have been, been did some foul crazy. ass yeah, shit. Yeah, they could have been going crazy. They could have been wilding on my shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn, miss, miss that. I'm trying to figure out the weekend. I still got shit to handle for right. the weekend. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, I'm trying to figure that shit out. So, uh, Somebody had posted on my story through who had it. Mm-hmm. It was a hacker, you know what I'm saying? And it was like tan, tanner business or something like that. Y'all probably seen it on my story. It looked mad weird. Like that it wasn't nothing I would ever post. Yeah. Right. Shit right, like right. uh like like I can <clears throat> I can restore accounts and I can disable accounts. Shit like that. So I ended up going um on uh 
like the uh, his hip hop karaoke login. Oh you shit! You know what I'm saying? And I I hit him up like you know what I'm saying like then I had my people's hit 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 my page up. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? And they hit my page up, and then it was like, um, you know what I'm saying? I had I I was like man. I, man, what's good? I, let me get the page back. I, yeah, I hit yeah, up the yeah. Tanner dude that that posted on my shit, and I, I hit that I hit that joint up. I was like, man, I want to get the page back. Man, what's good? And then uh, my people's hit up the other the, my page, and then it was like, well, can you just change the profile and name and shit so that we can use the other joint? Because I was about to start a whole new joint. Right. Like, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? So wait, so the hacker it, asked you for no, a whole other account. No, 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 no. I, I, I has, was starting another account, but the hacker, uh, my people's asked that hacker, you know what I'm saying? Could we, oh, like you know what I'm saying? Could, could they change all the shit from it? Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Take mm-hmm. my pictures off the shit, all that shit. You know what oh, I'm saying? Okay. They was like, yo, he, the, the motherfucker respond back from my page, from my page. So both pages, to my page and the hip hop karaoke page. And they responded like, yo, um, you can have the account back. I don't want the account. I want money. Oh, damn. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, what? <laughs> they like, yo, yeah, I, I want money. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I right, shit. Like, see what's good. So now on the other on the other end, I got my homegirl. She working on a motherfucking Facebook joint, mm-hmm. like, cause cause Facebook Instagram is owned by Facebook. She working on a joint trying to get me the joint back and shit. You know what I'm saying? Mind you, these yo. <laughs> Bro, you gotta understand. My DMs, all that shit. Everything, is in everything is in there. Like, yeah, yeah, everything. everything. Man, everything. listen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My DMs ain't crazy. My DMs ain't crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But shit. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. There's some shit in there. There's some shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm like, damn. Oh, um, so I'm like, damn. So they they trying to work on the joint. Like you can you can file a, a report and then they will disable the page and shit like that. So I sent that joint in and then that joint sent me a, some message like. Shit, you you it's a we we uh we see your concern mm-hmm. or whatever, but uh you know we get these problems all the time. We'll hopefully we'll get to yours. Like oh, basically, damn, the message was crazy from Facebook. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Basically, that shit said you at the like, bottom yo, of the list. I'm like, yo, I know this ain't happening to me, <laughs> right? Like, exactly. Why is like, not right now. Right now. Why is this happening right now? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I like, damn. So then I do back. He's like, man, which one? He's like, man, four hundred. He's like in Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he won them Bitcoin. motherfuckers. I, I, I'm gonna show y'all the DMs and everything. I swear, I, I'm not lying to y'all. Smart man. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, <laughs> for real. 400 in Bitcoin. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man. Shit, I'm like, man. I ain't got, I ain't got Bitcoin. You know what I'm saying? So he like, shit. Um, you can do it through Cash App, or whatever. Boom, boom. I'm like, man, that shit ain't working. Mm-hmm. Man, eventually he gave me Cash App. I'm like, man, yo. At this point, I, I ain't got no choice. You know what I'm saying? But to try it. Yeah. So I'm like, man, shit, yo, man, you know what I mean? Like, man, I promise, I don't want, I just want the money, I don't want your shit. The motherfucker sends me this shit, sends me the, uh, I, I send him the cash app, send him a screenshot of it. Man, I'm talking about that motherfucker gave me the password instantly, bro. That's <laughs> instantly got my shit back. You know what I'm saying? I had to go in and switch all my shits, all my emails and shit, because yeah. this shit was still on there, bro. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? I fast. know that shit ain't just happened to me, yo. <laughs> that shit took me. For $400? Took me. For four hundred, my page got hacked, and I didn't even get an opportunity to do what you just did. Yo, I just yeah, said, they just forget took it. Shit. They just they just took it. It's all they gone. They got it back like, in blood. Literally, it was like six o'clock in the morning. I wake up to an email saying someone had attempted to log in, mm-hmm. change your change your change your password. I didn't even get an opportunity to do so. They'd already got in, did everything that they needed to do. Yeah. I'm like, what? You gotta what be the, careful, man. What they the got that, I didn't. They got I don't know. Tool, I don't even open anything. Joint now, that <clears> two. Two part, yeah, uh, the two part, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I needed to put that so on. I, had to, I did that. I did. I didn't. I didn't have that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm like, damn, that's crazy. They took I'm like, y'all know right now, y'all hack my, my shit. Yo, y'all my can have that motherfucker. Yo, yeah, my gram was confiscated, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's the same yo, gram yeah. I had since 2012. You know what I'm saying? 2011. I ain't never changed that joint. You know what I'm saying it's the same joint. You know what's funny? I was thinking about. Um, I think you were one of the first people that I ever seen with the Facebook and I had no idea <laughs> what you were doing. Yeah. It was like at one of one of the family reunions and like you were <laughs> you were promoting a party or something like that. Hell and I'm like yeah, right on the, the book. I had and I'm like, what the heck is this? Yeah, and, see, I ain't gonna lie, when I got on Facebook shit, you 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 can't get on that shit without a college ID. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My Facebook still is my college ID from my school. 
Damn. From oh, I remember that. From watching from the movie. Social so, Network. Social Network, yeah. When this just started like The thing that. is, I can't, even, I can't even log into that. I don't remember that joint. Mm -hmm. I don't remember that email. So if they sending me emails to Facebook, I'm not getting them shits. You know what I'm saying? Because I can't get into that, in that, into that email. I don't remember that joint. Yeah. It's crazy. They tried so, to do you dirty. Crazy. But, it, but that's, yeah, but when Facebook first started, you know what I'm saying? You like, you had to be in college and shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I was like, got on that shit my freshman year. You know what I'm saying? And it, it was lit because MySpace was fire. You already know MySpace was on fire mm -hmm. at the time. But Facebook was just like a, a breath of fresh air yeah. for college students. Like, I thought know, I wasn't cool enough. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you just wasn't in school yet. You know what I'm saying? That's all. But you know what I'm saying? You see where it done expanded now. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? It's oh, crazy man. that it did. So from then, that, that point, time period until now, a lot has transpired. Hell yeah. yeah. A lot of growth. Mm -hmm. How? How did you get from there to think OJ? Damn. Shit, man. I ain't gonna lie. I be I be having <laughs> shit in my head. I be having like plans and shit that I want to do. I be having shit in my head, but I like I like to just sit on that shit sometimes. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. Just wait for the right time. Timing. Because sometimes I might might do it a little too premature, a little too early before you want to. You know what I'm saying? Really do that. Um, I always, you know what I'm saying? I always was just trying to find like the my official tag. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I was OJ Barker. I'm OJ, but everybody called me whatever. Right. They wanted. OJ Juice Man. You know what I'm saying? Jazz. You know what I'm saying? You know, all the names that I, you know what I'm saying, uh, came up on. You know what I'm saying? And uh, from, from then, you know what I mean? Like, you know. A lot has happened, you know what I'm saying. So mm -hmm. you know, you could st you start off with Umbrella Entertainment, Young Money Entertainment first. That was first. That's the first mm -hmm. first thing we did was throwing the parties. You know what I'm saying? Young Money. That's 18 years old. You know, that's what I was promoting it on Facebook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Young Money. Shout out to my bro Turles. You know what I'm saying? Um, we started that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, obviously, we couldn't keep that name because there wasn't. Mm -hmm. A rap group yeah, called Young Rap Entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And we wouldn't, uh, you know, run into those problems. Yeah, you know? we ain't want to run into those problems. <laughs> so we ended up switching to Umbrella Entertainment, and that was our shit. We was official. You know what I mean? And then you know, just back and forth. When I, whenever I came home from school, throwing parties and shit like that, um, throwing on, doing the fun shit. The first joint we did, we and it was you know just house parties at first. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? The first joint we did, we made some bread. We did do a joint after a prom after party. The year after we graduated, you know what I'm saying? It was Hush mm -hmm. Tech and McKinley Prime was the same day. You know, uh, we graduated from McKinley, you know what I'm saying? We had mad love Hush Tech, you know what I'm saying? So we did that joint. It was crazy. Right at the Hyatt, right next door mm -hmm. to the right. McKinley Prime was right there. I was at McKinley Prime because my girl was still, a, she was a senior. You know what I'm saying? So I was at the Prom. <laughs> then right next door, we did the party. You know what I'm saying? That was the first time we made some bread. You know what I'm saying? I think we walked out of that drink with like 800 a piece. We was tea. <laughs> we was like, oh, shit. We was like, oh, yeah, That's a great shit. feeling. Yeah. Going, that is a great <laughs> right, feeling. Right, right. And we did that shit partying. We like, oh, yeah, it's lit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, just build it on that. Um, you know, but I ended up coming home and uh, after um, my first three years in college at Stillman and shit, I ended up coming home. Turtle stayed down there, so our brother just kind of like fell, fell, fell away. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, I linked with my brother. You know what I'm saying? Menzi has been my bro for years. You know what I'm saying? So before, so you know, I linked with him with Crown Entertainment. We took that shit to the top. You know what I'm saying? Through the years of us doing that, you know what I'm saying? Balling for a cause. <laughs> One of the greatest ever, man. That was amazing. One of the greatest ever, man. Yeah, for sure. I ain't gonna lie, was man. People don't gusts. give people don't give people don't give us a, 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 a enough flowers for balling for a cause, man. They don't give it enough respect. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna lie, like I loved the, the thing about balling for a cause. What we love was the community support, right? The community mm -hmm. support. Right. You know what I'm saying? The community definitely supported, but like, you know what I'm saying? We ain't getting no, you know what I'm saying? Corporate support, no real big support. Shout out to the people who did support the council members and shit. That, that supported and all that. But for what we was doing with that, you know what I'm saying? They definitely, they it, it definitely, the city, the, the people, the, 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 the businesses and things, you know what I'm saying, kind of fumbled that. And we was going to them like, yo, listen, mm -hmm. this is what we got. You know what I'm saying? Because we was doing that. Man, yo, I'm telling you, all them joints we was doing out of our pocket. Every single one of them joints. World Games. World Games. That's you know amazing. what I'm saying? We had, yo, we had 
12 nationalities competing in the middle of in the middle of a a a, a 5 a 5k men's tournament and then a youth tournament youth tournament women's tournament all at the same time you know what I'm saying? Like you, you know always I mean? in the center, that, man. And that, and that was, and that was. I'm not gonna lie, that was legendary. And you know, it's crazy. We said that the, the last year of Bonfoot Cars was gonna be the last year, which was 2019. And then, um, obviously, we wasn't gonna do it the next year. But then, even if we had the itch to do it, we couldn't because of COVID. COVID, mm-hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then this following year, we just didn't. But you know, you know what I mean. You know, we always still got the love for it. Of course, the love for the game, right? And then love for the community. So we wanna. Who knows, man? Who knows? I gotta holler at Lau and see what see what see what, <laughs> see what he see what he think. Lau be Lau be wanting to do it, but then he be like, nah, because it was real. That I ain't gonna lie. Doing that, doing Bond for Cross, some of the toughest one of the toughest projects that we did. What made it tough? Man, just because we had to run everything. We had we had we was in, we were responsible for everybody. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Every player, every spectator. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in the building that whole weekend. You know what I'm saying? We were responsible for everything. Injuries, you know, all that stuff. You know, and then just responsible for that, you know, staff. You right. Know I mean? it, and it was it was real. You know what I'm saying? And then we was doing it out of our pocket. So that money ain't, we ain't playing with no big budget. You know what I'm That's saying? True. Yeah. Like We like, like man, all right, we got to do this. All right, let's, let's, let's get some merch. You know what I'm saying? Sell some merch. You right. know what I'm saying? So we can, man, 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 man let's see. <clears throat> I could tell you, man, it, it was real, and that, it was, it was, but it was amazing. You know what I'm saying? We t- we took it on tour. We took Ball Four Calls on tour. Toronto All Star Weekend in the six. All Star Weekend 2016. Um, we did Cleveland, we did Detroit, we did Baltimore, we did Dallas, New York City. You know that was that was that was a legendary that was a legendary you know what I'm saying organization right there. Shout out to Bonfield Court. Shout out to Vince Lau. Shout out to everybody who was a part of that. All my family. You know what I'm saying? One thing. So we, we didn't finish, but one thing that I was thinking about as you're saying this is the the faith that you had to have in order to even just go into all these other cities, mm-hmm. and then also just being here as well and putting your money up. That took a lot of faith. Yeah, you gotta believe, man. You really gotta believe that you can gonna do it, and and you gotta and you can't. <clears throat> but it really is, man. You can't be scared to fail, man. You can't be scared to take the L. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. I'm gonna tell you, we done took them. We done took them. I think we uh, done took them. You know what I'm saying? You can't be scared to do it. You just gotta do it. For like us, that. we doing this podcast. Like we didn't have events and everything like that. You got a long track record. We didn't did two cookouts and like. We was ready to kill each other after the first one. <laughs> oh, man. Then the second one went a little bit more smoother. And you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you worrying about who going to come. And it's like, mm-hmm. like, like people going to show up. Did we buy all this food and stuff for Bro, nothing? What? Quan on the grill cooking. And he helped fund the joint. But he on the grill cooking, making sure people, his mom passing out food. Mm-hmm. Everybody is. <laughs> gotta, everybody there to support you. You know what I'm saying? Everybody there to help you out. And without that support system, without that team, man, none of that happens, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, that's like, a fact, man. Shout out to everybody on my team, man. You know what I'm saying? With everything, all my all my teams, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I got, I got teams. We talking teams, I got teams. You, know what <laughs> yeah. I got, I got you got a lot of teams. Man. I got a lot of teams. I was, that's what I was going to ask. Like, so, mm-hmm. you know, you have the, the Realist Back Weekend, you have mm-hmm. um, the Ballin' for a Cause, mm-hmm. um, Gwaji. Hip-Hop Karaoke. Mm-hmm. Hip-Hop Karaoke, Gwaji. Mm-hmm. Um, and now, you know, management mm-hmm. for so many people. And I think it's, it's, it's some more in this there. This is the team. This is the, fi- that's, that's the family, <coughs> the Mighty Drum. Shout out to the Mighty Drum Works. Man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We just, just yesterday, y'all boys, we just finished 20 cities. 20 cities. 20 Ooh. cities. That's a trek, boy. 20 Ooh. cities. Major shout out to Conway the Machine, man. Real talk. How man. did that happen? My, my brother, Jay Skis. Okay. You talking about me? Yeah, with, yeah. with, with, with Conway. Yeah, Skis. Big shout out brother. skis, man. Shout out yeah, my brother. Shout out skis. Y'all ice lane, revolver Oslo. Make sure y'all go, go get that. Nah, I definitely get, get that. that. Go get that. Definitely. Run that up. That's again. You know I'm, what I'm, I'm still waiting for that symmetry. Yeah, you know I mean, everybody is. <laughs> everybody, bro. Everybody is. I'm Yo, like, I mean, I might play. Nah, I'm friends. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, I got it. If y'all want to hear it, you know, I got it. <laughs> but nah, man. man, 
when uh when I seen you like traveling and on the move and everything like with skis and with Conway like in the beginning I mean I see you was in Miami and everything like mm-hmm. Weez actually told me the story about how like you missed out on me and Hove yeah he told me like he told me that story and it was I like, left Yo, like you just I, left I had just left yeah shout out to my bro Chad man me and skis left we had just left we was down there we was in Tampa for WrestleMania and then we went to Miami um we was down there just hanging for a little bit um. And then we was going to uh, we was coming home. You know what I'm saying? We was gone for a little minute. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Gotta get back. Gotta see, we got the youngins. Gotta see the kids. Make sure everybody's straight. Check on the family. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And uh, man, we flew. <laughs> we landed. As soon as we landed, you know, our phones is off. And shit, you know what I'm saying? We see. As soon as we landed, I'm sitting right next to Ski. Ski showed me the message. We got my phone ain't even load yet. Like, man, you left too early. <laughs> he didn't even say nothing. They sent a picture sitting right behind him by gambling. Damn. Damn. In the casino, in the Hard Rock Casino, Highland Room with whole million dollar chips. That's crazy. And, crazy. like, just once I heard that story, I'm and like, they was Yo. down there. They was down there because they were shooting the video for the Sorry Not Sorry joint. Everybody was yeah, there. Yeah, nah, oh. Cali, all of them. Okay. Everybody. You know yeah, nah, that's, that's crazy, like. Definitely. Once I once I heard that story, I'm like, yo, it makes sense that you in that position because look at what you didn't done to put yourself like you worked to get ready, there. ready you, to you get you worked to get ready there. for it. Nah, it was like that that opportunity came and you just took it full force. And it's like, man, you already been in event planning and everything mm-hmm. like that. It's like, all right, they trust you enough. They just see they didn't been in your events. They they know your name. They know who you are, man, and they know me, what you man. could produce. And we just put together a 20 city tour, man. That joint was really crazy, man. The set. Set list was crazy. Shout out to my brother T, man. T did his thing, man. Rookie. T, first time DJing a, a hip-hop show mm-hmm. was two days before a tour started. Ever in his life. And he just did 20 cities. I'm not going to lie. Word. Damn. When Wire left, I was very concerned about, like, who was going to be that guy mm-hmm. here. And then, you know, my first time hearing him, Ironically enough, Jalen put this in the notes. Um, was when we had kind of came up with the concept for this this podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, at the time, you had, oh, you, guys yep. had a, you guys had a, had a oh, yeah, you, the you, you do something at the time. WTTV. Yeah. Hold and, on, hold um, on, not to, hold on, not to cut you off real quick because I got to take that back. That was not his first time. His first time DJing a hip hop show was hip hop karaoke and he DJ for Jim Jones. Oh yeah, that I got to give you that. Right. Yep, my fault, did. my fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I be forgetting about it. Right. My, my, my bad. T. you know we be on the on the move. So um, when I first heard him, I was like. He playing some records, he like, nice. and he and like his mixes were were great. And I was like, okay, we might have one here. We might have another one. Um, but yeah, to see all you guys in in the position that you are in now is uh, amazing, and it seems appropriate. Absolutely, yeah, nah, we definitely grinded for a long time. I remember them days, them early days back two thousand nine, two thousand two thousand nine to probably like twenty fourteen. Me, skis, biz, wees, you know what I'm saying, pots. You know what I mean? The whole Ocho first class, G, G, you know what I'm saying? Monk, you know what I'm saying? D Jack, you know what I'm saying? We all, you know what I'm saying? Just Kenny, you know what I mean? Grinding, going to shows like back then, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Just putting up our own bread, trying to figure it out. Ain't had no type of clue, no, you know what I'm saying? We just trying to figure it out, you know what I mean? And then, you know, it kind of steered away because, you know what I'm saying? We became fathers. Mm-hmm. You know yep. saying? We all had kids, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So, you know, we all had different responsibilities. We got shit. We got to take care of ours. So, you know, kind of put the dreams on pause, you know what I'm saying? And uh, at that time, then you just hustling, you know what I'm saying? That's when Gwaji come around, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? We selling clothes, still doing parties, but still working a job. I'm still working. I'm working a city job, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, I got to make sure mine is good. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So, you know, it was it, it was like that. And then it took a little minute. To break out of that, and then I mean, shit, I just quit my job this year. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just quit my shit in, in, in April. Once, once I had that convo with Con, I was like, man, shit, man, I'm damn, ready to, I'm ready to rock. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready. You know what I'm saying, give me the, I'm, I'm going to sweep. Mm-hmm. Pass me the joint. You know what I'm saying? Let's do this. So it was like that. He was like, man, shit, we can get down to Tampa, pull up. You know what I'm saying? Did some shit. You know what I'm saying? I made a little couple moves, you know what I'm saying, we went out, you know what I'm saying, we was feeling that shit, and then from there, you know, you know, we just been working together like crazy, you know what I'm saying, everybody, the whole drum work, you know what I'm saying, the whole family, we've been together, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, for, for shit, since then, since like April, and, and drum work, drum work, not even, drum work is just, just a year, not even a year old yet, I think drum work will be a year old in December. 
Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like we we accomplished a lot. You know what I'm saying? Within that year, man. So you know it's about to go up, up, crazy up. For yeah, the drum, he, he for seen, sure. Conway seems like he uh he really has his ear to the city. Mm-hmm. Like very closely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, facts, facts. Yeah, one thing about one thing about Con, man, he loves music. You know what I'm saying? He listen to everybody. Mm-hmm. He's genuine. Genuine. And 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 he's he was really a machine. I'm telling y'all. You know what I'm saying? He could hear some shit and he'd know that shit. He could spit that shit back to you. You know what I'm saying? He'd know that shit. He'd know what you were saying and shit like that. That sounds that like that's not wicked. That sounds like Matt. Being in the studio, being in the studio with him, you know what I'm saying? Like it's like it's crazy watching that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, man. you you told me like last week the amount of money that you were making from parties. And I'm not going to disclose that information, mm-hmm. but it made me think like, why are you not doing more parties? <laughs> because of the time we in. Mm-mm. Okay. You know I'm saying? Yeah. Time, I understand time. that. Same the time for the same that a constrict you for real? Honestly, bro. like, like I mean, we we shout out to everybody who do weeklies and have done weekly. Shout out to my brother Jay. You know what I mean? Shout out to my brother Jason. You know what I mean, and I done weeklies too back in the day and shit. Shout out to Joe. You know what I mean? Infamous. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that was doing gate. Everybody was doing weeklies. But you know, the town is the town, man. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't got a lot, so when we do get something. We going, we going, we going to have it. We going to have it lit, and then we going to right. have it lit and so lit till you know what I'm saying that time come. Somebody come around trying to fuck that shit up, man. It just mm-hmm. is what it is. I know it. For, I know I can. I can speak on it because I've experienced it. For and and this and that's been my livelihood for 14 years. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. You know what I'm saying? So I've I've seen it. I seen how it go. I seen how the clubs go. How the night night clubs go. The bars come and go and shit mm-hmm. like that. Because it's always something. And you know, majority of the people that that come out don't want it to be like that. Mm-hmm. But it's always somebody lingering around. And it's when it's the thing to do in the town, it's the thing to do. Like, you know, you go to a big city, you know, you got your bars that you like, right? right now, I don't think I'm going to that joint. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you got your joints where you know what I mean, you ain't gonna run into none of that in there. You know what I'm saying? If it's, it's lit, like, everybody go be there. So so we find my, something, stick to it like glue. Yeah. So <laughs> so what what I've learned throughout it is you know what I'm saying, definitely, man, make sure you take care of safety take it keep everybody safe safety first man so I, that's why I always uh, up my security man you know what I mean the incident on the July joint man I I had I had, I had extra extra security man I, that joint just was man I don't know what happened man but you know what I'm, I'm glad no, I mean everybody good yeah. you know what I'm saying from that joint man um, but other than that you know you know I make sure I try to make sure everything is, is safe all the, you know what I'm saying, we in there, and you got to keep, and you got to keep, like, the experience, that's what it is, too, what I learned is, man, the party, it's not necessarily the party that we talking about, because, you know what I'm saying, like, what I, what I made off parties, what I make off events, mm. you know what I'm saying, parties is cool, like, you know what I'm saying, they, like, they cool, but they, parties is parties, you can have any kind of party, mm-hmm. right, you could throw a party in here, you know what I'm saying, you could throw a party in the big spot, <laughs> the devil you got to be able to, <laughs> you cure, you, you be able to curate an event, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You it's all about that vibe. Put, you could put, mm-hmm. put a ticket on that, and you got to keep that joint. You know what I'm saying? Exclusive. For you, I, that's that's the big thing about you. It's like oh, this OJ event. You got people that's yeah. your age, and there's people younger than me talking about they going to the event. It's mm-hmm. kind of like you put your name on it, you associate with it, you promoting it, everybody going out to that joint, and you know you know what you get. Yeah, we definitely done had a couple of them conversations like, oh, OJ doing something this weekend? Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah, we sure, there. Bro. Deep South, we, de- we there. Deep- bro, Every bro, Thursday, we there. Show, fuck see, it. And, see, and that was a that was a weekly that I picked up, but I knew I could keep that joint wavy. You know what I'm saying? And, and the only yeah. reason we stopped that joint was because, man, like the last one, you know what I'm saying, they was complaining like because the people was parking. You know what I'm saying? You know, neighbors, you know, that joint mm-hmm. residential, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So they was complaining and stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? The owners was like, man, we ain't trying to. I'm like all right, we take a break, and then the next week was the uh, the the, the, the July Four joint. Mm-hmm. So it's like, all right, that's cool. But yeah, you know, what I'm saying? that joint was a vibe. You know, what I'm saying keep it wavy. I know, I know how to. I know I've, I've learned how to. You know, what I'm saying work around the madness, work around the times of the madness. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm. You probably won't catch me throwing another event, another party that go past. You know, what I'm saying midnight. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Maybe 1 a.m. like latest, you know? At least not in the town. Mm. Not in the town because, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, 
That's that's party. It's, we got to bring the events back. We got to bring it, bring it back. And they and they and they here too. Like the events is here. Like you know what I'm saying. We every shout out to everybody that's been doing everything. You know what I'm saying. It's been mad like fire events going on. You know what I'm saying. The cookouts, everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Uh, WTCP. Uh, <coughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, man. Facts. Shout out. Shout out to the family, man. Shout out to Lau, man. Both flow. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, the festivals. You know what I'm saying. The, the summer jam fest we just did. That joint was crazy. The Rick Ross joint. That joint was nutty. That joint was nutty, man. Right. man. Progressive state. And we put that. We put that whole joint together. That was HHK put that joint together. Like I mean. We didn't put the show together like like my man Tim. He uh he rearranged the show. He he had booked the show and everything. Mm -hmm. It was supposed to bad happen. But I'm like, man, what you got? How you opening that joint? And he he was kind of stuck. I was like, man, let me let me get the keys to that. You know what I'm saying? I'll show you how we we, we got it. That you know show. What I'm that way I was able to put the whole gang on. It was crazy. You know what I'm saying? T, Gabby, Bez, Troy was up there with us. You know what I'm saying? Ron Skis came out, Khan mm -hmm. came out, Benny came out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like it was crazy. Rick Hyde came out, Boat, everybody. It's crazy. Shots was out there. Yeah, it was crazy. And it, it was really like us. It's like damn, we controlling this whole joint. We even realizing it's 8,500 in that joint. Mm -hmm. I ain't realized how many people was out there until I was on stage when Ross was performing, and I looked. I was like, yo, that it was crazy. crazy. It was Shit, crazy. We had Weez up there on stage. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Word. In front of 8,500, that's how, they don't get no realer than that, 8,500. And Weez was up there, you know what I'm saying, with us. I got the, that ill, the illest picture is the picture of Weez and uh, Rose. Mm -hmm. Yo, cuz, I ain't even tell you, I, I hollered at him after, after the joint, you know what I'm saying, cuz you know, uh, um, Aunt Sini, you know, um, mm -hmm. that's- Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, her, his mom is talking about <coughs> uh, our aunt, oh, right. you know what yeah. I'm saying, so. You know what I mean? He was getting off. The, I told him we, we, we was leaving. Uh, we was backstage. I was like, yo, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm from my family from Clarksdale. I think Stye looked at me. <laughs> I think was like, who your family is? I was like, shit, Liggins. He was like, Liggins? I was like, yeah. I was like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 435 Page, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was like, man, what? And he was like, uh, you got an Auntie X. He called her Auntie X. He's like, yeah. I was like, that's my Aunt Cini. I was like, he was like, damn, nigga, grab me, hug me. Like, nigga, we family. <laughs> <laughs> Funny as hell, man. That's funny. Nah, she always says how nice he is. Why? It will when because like she they'll, 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 he'll always go to their cookouts, obviously. So he's nice, but also he's like very quiet and reserved mm -hmm. when when around the family. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, man, that's fire. I I have another question. Oh, <laughs> we <laughs> expect this <laughs> already, lads. Um, well, you you you've been on tour, mm -hmm. and I know what comes with tour. <laughs> <laughs> now it gets good. <laughs> now it gets good. If you don't mind. <laughs> yeah, you know what comes with a tour, but it's not a Griselda tour, not a drama okay. tour. Okay, I, I can imagine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that crowd is. You know what I'm saying? That crowd is. It's gonna be some women. Eighty percent. Eighty. That, that, that crowd is seventy percent. <laughs> Young white hip hop kids, okay, and thirty percent OGs, and all the women in there is the, is the wives, yeah, yeah, of them OGs. Oh, the OGs. <laughs> Word. So you know what I'm saying, and I ain't gonna lie, like this joint wasn't like no joint that you would see, like it wasn't like a hard not life tour, like backstage where everybody partying and doing all that. Yeah, we was on the grind. We ain't even doing we we barely we hardly went out. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know our joints was back to back. Yeah, After we did them shows. We went to the room, got our rest, got up, hit that road. Some nights, some nights we hit the road straight from the show. You know what I'm saying? Like we was on the grind. We was grinding. It was really, it was really routine. Get up, do our shit, boom, boom, take care of whatever, do whatever media shit. You know what I'm saying? Boys was doing that shit, but mm -hmm. um, then do the show. You know what I'm saying? We getting there at three o'clock, set up. You know what I mean? The show ain't over till then at eleven thirty. We getting there at three o'clock every day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then them days in between. It was just relaxing, you right? Know what I'm catching up. Some a lot of them days was on the East Coast. Leg, we was coming home. You know what I'm saying? Checking in, doing whatever you had to do, a family regroup, come back. That West Coast, I ain't gonna lie. That West Coast was real. That West, I ain't gonna lie. That West Coast fake kicked my ass a little bit. <laughs> that time zone did that three hour <laughs> difference. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that yeah, shit yeah, is a bitch. Let me, you, let me tell you what happened to the West Coast. We started it. We started in Denver. You know what I'm saying? I never been to Denver. You know, already know the altitude crazy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You already feeling different. Ears you know popping and shit. Yeah, ears popping crazy. You know what I'm saying? Everybody high as shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you know, 
we get out there and we rock, I'm rocking the crowd with you. I'm saying they, they, it ain't like the East Coast crowd. They, they lit, but they ain't, ain't as lit. You know what I'm saying? So, mm. but you know they on they smoking shit. They up there, they T, they blitz. We, we rock that drink. After that drink, we get to Phoenix. We go to Phoenix, right? Fly to Phoenix. American Airlines loses my luggage. Oh, I shit. seen you talking about that. All my luggage, everything. Did you get it back? All my, I no, I don't have it. Damn, <laughs> I don't have oh, it. Oh, you still ain't get it back. Still ain't got it. I had shit in there. I can't get back too, bro. Shit, I can't get back. Damn. I mean, everything that I had that I was going, that was because I knew we wasn't coming home. I packed for the for entire the, the rest of the, the road. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I packed for that whole joint. That was like, so I'm like, damn. So you know, and I had to shop. You know, see, I ended up starting wearing. I just wearing some wearing some tour merch. I'm saying I had to buy buy shit, spend money. You know, what I'm saying on clothes, whatever. You know, what I'm saying, but it was it was lit. And and the thing about the West Coast leg was, East Coast we drove. We had the Sprinter. We drove mm-hmm. every to every city. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, but the West Coast joint we flew to every city, every joint. So flying every day. Oh my god. Already on the time difference. Yo, already on the time difference. Jet lag. That it was. Yo, by the time we got to Houston, bro, bro, we went from we went from Denver. We had a day in between. But we flew to Phoenix that day. We did Phoenix the next day. The next day flew to LA. The next day flew to San Francisco. Then that next Damn. day, the next day flew to Seattle. No, no, stayed in San Francisco, flew to Seattle the next day. Did the Seattle show. Flew to uh Houston. Did the show in Houston the next day. Damn. And, uh, that that joke was that joke was crazy. See, like, I got a question now. <laughs> in regards to like you hosting the show, mm-hmm. like you, you, you actually a part of the performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like you, you, you helping out the artists get to these places as well. Like mm-hmm. you have creative control over the show. Like yeah. you open up and you bring in the boys I do out. Conway set with him every night. That's fire. I do, I do concert with him. I do. I get. I get all the music from the artists. You know what I'm saying. And special guests. I send it over to T. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. Make sure T. You know what I'm saying? Got the music and stuff, and I do concept with him every night. You know what I'm saying? Go over the song. You know what I'm saying? Whatever set list he's doing. I'm not, and I'm on stage too. I'm I'm on stage with him the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Making sure he know, because sometimes we might do a set list late. I ain't got time to print it out and put it on the stage. Yeah. So he just I make sure he know whatever he need. We good. We good. You know. So yeah, it's, I ain't gonna lie. It's it's, it's it's a lot, but we got it done. It was crazy how we got it done. Everybody put in they put in their time, put in their work. Everybody on the team. It was crazy, but we ain't had no big team. We ain't had no big team, yo. We had we had my homegirl Alexis doing merch. You know, you got Khan, Skis Love, Shots the Artist. You know what I'm saying? And then the team is me, my man Coles, my man Chad. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my bro Mikey P. You know what I mean? And then that's that was just us. That's how we was moving, doing everything. You know what I'm saying? And our security team. Mm-hmm. Shout out our security. That's great for experience, cause now going yeah, into it, it's only go go Yo, up. Bro, I know I can do any tour now. Yeah, I can manage any tour now. I, all I, it I takes is one time. I learned, like, oh, that's that's all one it time. That's all it takes. That's all it took. I can manage anybody tour. What's like, the budget? <laughs> <laughs> Cozy. Yo, bro, put this album out, bro. We we need OJ to manage this tour, bro. Stop playing. Stop playing. <laughs> WTTB trying to do a tour. Shoot, man, oh, shit, bro. Nah, we definitely trying to do podcast one. Podcast tour would be crazy. Yeah, man, we can sit down. We can sit down with the round table. Laz, what's the budget? Family. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you the budget man for WTTB. What's the budget, Laz? Nah, matter of fact, Gozy. <laughs> <laughs> right, Gozy we're going at right now. Shit, look, give me, give me, give me free last training. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, I like yeah. that. That's yeah, a good. Yeah, sure. I like that right there. Yeah, give me free training. Scratch my. Back. You gotta think you gonna make more money off right, the tour yeah. than that that money you gonna get right. for the training. You know what I'm saying? Look, he like you. You got a good yeah. point there. Then that's gonna transform me into action figure. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then think OJ gonna be like, they gonna be like, oh no, nah, this nigga, this nigga done lost his mind. <laughs> nigga don't go nowhere. He ain't going nowhere without his shirt off. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> this nigga going crazy, man. So, no women. Yeah, man. <laughs> so what? What about in the? Time, I mean, though? like it was, it was, it was like some some homies that you can't talk about that and shit like that. <laughs> you, you go crazy. It was homies that <laughs> came up to the shows and stuff like that, like friends that we knew and shit like that. But it wasn't no, nah, it wasn't it wasn't that type of joint. Gotcha. And you got to think we got you know what I'm saying on our team. 
I got one on my team, so we was of course we respect. Respectful. Yeah. That's Absolutely. that's understandable. You know yeah, that's understandable. But, but yeah, I mean, we went to strip club a couple times. It was like we went to strip club like three times. But other than that, we was grinding. What was uh, what was the defining moment? And you probably, I probably know it. But what was the defining moment for you? It was like, wow, I'm here. Like, I'm doing this. Like, when it all soaked in. Wait, what? What part? You know what I'm saying? Like, what part? Because it's, it's it's different ones. Like the part of me being on that stage. I mean, I've been doing that, but now, like, I'm taking. I'm like, all right, now it's now it's now we really gonna do that, for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? And hyping it. That wasn't even that wasn't even the plan for the tour. You know what I'm saying? I was just working it, working the tour. It, well, I, the first two shows, I didn't host that joint. Mm -hmm. We got to Baltimore, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know what I'm saying? They, they didn't have a house DJ or a house host. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So T was going to DJ, had to DJ the whole joint. I wasn't going to leave T out there by himself. Right. So I'm like, yo, T, fuck it. Let's just put something together. You know what I mean? Play these joints and I'm going to just rock the crowd with it. You know what I'm saying? Do pullbacks, make them sing and shit. You know what I'm saying? And we did that shit and we killed it. You know what I'm saying? And we put the whole show together and it ran smooth through on time. That was the first show Benny pulled up to, too. And that shit was crazy. It was sold out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like 1,400 motherfuckers in that shit. Crazy. Oh. So that was the first joint. And then from there, you know what I'm saying? Bro was like, man, shit, you got to do every joint. <laughs> shit, fuck it. Let's do it. We showed up. You know what I'm saying? Showed out. And opening look at more you. doors at yeah, that every point. Every joint was just getting easier. It was getting, the flow was getting easier. Mm -hmm. So by the time we got to the crib, man, Buffalo was crazy. Being on that ballroom stage, that was some legendary shit right there, man. Well, I feel like really. most of the people that probably went to the Buffalo show probably weren't even from Buffalo. From no, Buffalo, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. The Buffalo crowd was all white. Everybody else black was on stage. But that's what I'm saying. Buffalo shows sold out so fast yeah. because you know us. We mm -hmm. ain't getting them tickets right now. Yeah, we gonna we gonna pull up. We know we know people. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We gonna, we gonna, you know how we do. You know how the town do. You know what I'm saying? We last minute is with everything. We don't sell out anything day of type stuff. Buffalo yeah. don't. You know what I'm saying? But it, it, we sell out things, but it, 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 it takes some time. It Buffalo, takes some time. Buffalo don't want to go to the event until they know it's sold out. They right. try to get right. it. Right. They're yeah. just yeah. like, damn. <laughs> that's, that's anybody got a ticket going, for sale? Bro. Right. Yeah. And then they, then they, then, they then they willing to pay whatever, which be killing my like, yeah, bro. Like, Why you just buy this shit when it was $30? That's what I'm saying. Ticket be 40 you be at the door. I got 100 for you right now. Yo, even if you smart, if you smart, listen, this is, here's a little game for y'all, free game. For you, for, for my people out there, you know I love y'all. But even if you're smart for these events, when these joints drop, when these tickets drop, you know what I'm saying. You know it's a it's a it's a great chance it's going to sell out. So at least just buy a ticket, buy a couple of them. So just in case you don't go, you can't go. You got you get that extra yeah, bread. Right. Exactly. You can get the bread. Turn that you know sixty. The karaoke tickets will be out Wednesday too, just to let you know. <laughs> let November, you know. November 28th. Let we know. back, baby. Let me check my Venue calendar. Venue nightclub is going, going down. He said November 28th. HHK Thanksgiving <laughs> weekend. Sunday too. I'm Thanksgiving okay. weekend. Sunday fun day. Yep. Six p.m. You already oh. know we back. We got all new songs. We got two years worth of music that we ain't did. Sound like another great Sunday. We got two years worth of music we ain't did. Oh yeah. That's why that, that is a that's lot of we got, yo, check this out. That's damn near it, era. Ain't, it ain't been no nobody nobody has done any pop smoke at hip hop karaoke. Ooh, set up damn. never lacking always pistol packing with the automatics. We go set up. Be ready. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> Matt, <laughs> Matt, what's up? We ain't taking we out there, Matt. We out there, there bro. Fuck we it. out there. But you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Like, nobody did nobody's done any pop smoke at hip hop karaoke, bro. Crazy thing is he That's right. how long it's been. Key right. Damn. That's how long it's been. So long as the last joint was December 2019. Yeah. Welcome sure. to the party was out, but it just. It never got it wasn't, you know right. Because uh, I was at like that We last played one. it, but nobody performed it. Oh, it's about to go up there. So make sure y'all get your tickets. Man, you know everything. You know what I'm saying? I will have mine. Yeah, it's going crazy, man. I got I got a lot in store. We got a lot in store for HHK, too, man. A lot in store coming up. Come, events coming up. Shit, damn. Since I'm, since I'm, since, you know what? Since we since we talking about what they talking about, I'm gonna tell you what they talking about. <laughs> what they talking about is the biggest event of the year, mm. December eighteenth. Mm. Okay. Check, the, check my calendar. Saturday, mm -hmm. December eighteenth. Oh, that's cool. I'll be off work you by like three. 
Saturday, you, you know you heard it first. The drop is coming from me here, right here on what they talk about. The exclusive right on here. WTTB. I, like, I, like I love it here. Exclusive sauce. Come you know, on. December 18th, Saturday, December 18th, Conway Cares Christmas Gala. Okay. Conway Cares Christmas Gala. You hear me? Okay. I'm talking about it's a, it's, it's a charity event, but it's, it's, it's high end. We bringing everybody in. We inviting everybody in. It's gonna be a ball. It's gonna be, a, you know, what I'm saying. Of course, mm. everybody has to be dressed to the T. You know, what I'm saying Met Gala style. You know what I'm saying it's gonna be I'm a super say gala. Nice. carpet. Statler City. I've been waiting you know for a little one. Mm. Statler City downtown <laughs> Buffalo. Mm. You know, what I'm saying Statler City. And not only that, not only that, you know what you get with that live concert, man. Mm. Live band. Conway, Conway, Conway the Machine unplugged. Live Damn. band concert. Remember where y'all heard like it first. Those. Don't say you I didn't like, know about it. There it is. I like those intimate setting mm -hmm. concerts versus those large crowds. Yeah. Oh no, it's it still gonna be. It's still gonna be a crowd. No, I, 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 I know <laughs> it's gonna be a crowd. But, but everybody but like, gonna be gotta be suited. Like I prefer the I prefer the music hall over the right over the arena. Over yeah. the, right, right. Oh, yeah. no, absolutely. Yeah. Like that, absolutely. that crowd ones. difference makes a, a difference. Yeah, yeah no, them the best sure. ones. Yeah, them the best ones. Them the best ones for sure. You feel you it? Know what I'm saying, you definitely. Yeah, you feel it. You get, you get. Yeah, of course. Yo, listen, man. I would take a me as a as a uh, a fan. I would take a town ballroom show over any oh, yeah. venue. Absolutely. Absolutely. Town ballroom or venue, something like or, that. Or client hands. For for for. Client, for I would even do a client hands. Yeah, even client hands. But I'm saying like for like. Say somebody like for me like, say somebody like Jeezy came to motherfucking yeah the ballroom revenge or something like that. I know Jeezy could do Outer Harbor and it's gonna oh, be for crazy, a fact. Oh, just yeah. like Rick Ross. For a fact. But if they would have came to venue or, or the ballroom, it's like yeah, you know what I'm saying. Shut you the city right down. There, you know what I'm saying. Like you getting that. You're really getting the feel. And, that, and like, when they get the, when they do them shows, that's when they that's when they get in in they in they in they outer body. You know what I'm saying? That's when they do their classics, they B sides, and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I love them shows. I love them shows. Has anybody told you that you are Buffalo? <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah. Anybody told me I am Buffalo? Bro. You know, it's they, kinda... they 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 give me my, people people give me my love though. Yeah. I do. Shout out to everybody, man, because I love everybody. You know, I love all. I mean, you work for it. You deserve your roses. We gonna make for sure so, you man. get them while you here. So. You worked man. for it. Appreciate it. Like man. you know, when you, for us, for our generation, for, even for the for the ones younger than us, for some older than us, when you think of Buffalo, we think one of those people that we think of. Mm -hmm. OJ you. <laughs> off the rip. Mm -hmm. Um. Right. Yeah. I just I think it's just just for me just. Doing my job to try to keep everybody entertained. I wasn't even talking about I was, it's that, but it was also like literally embracing Buffalo, mm. loud and proud. Oh yeah, of from course. <laughs> from children to now, like you know, there right. was <laughs> right, you know, the mafia, Buffalo, heavy. The mafia, heavy. <laughs> always Buffalo, everything. No Winter matter was what, heavy. <clears throat> All right, where we going? Shit, I'm inked up in, 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 in Buffalo. Shit, I got the bills. The Bisons and the Braves. You know what I'm saying? I got more to come. I got a whole Buffalo arm. I'm, I am Buffalo. I love it. I ain't going to lie, though. We got to turn this joint up, man. The town ain't it. Like, like what people are, what we doing in the world with the town is, is, is amazing. And small pockets of the town that's happening in the town. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is, is amazing. It's a lot of growth that's showing, but we got to keep going. We got to tee it up and turn it up. We got to make people want to come here. I was thinking and somehow, thing. some way, I'm telling you, it's really got to do with the entertainment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Yo, it's nothing to do. When I come home, like, like, everything, when I was coming home, like every time I come home, I'm like, damn, it's nothing to do. It's like, it's nothing to do. It's you was like, the one planning everything. Yeah, I know. That's why it's nothing. <laughs> we be in the house like, damn, fuck, we going to do it's this like weekend. DJ can't go to a party. But, but you DJ know what else it him. is? It's, 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 it's with the venues and everything, too, man. Like, it's like, man, we got to have something. Like, we got to have something to where we got to. It can't be I come home and, and, and the only thing to do is go to Vice to eat. Go to 500 Pearl and go finish the night of Fally Allen, man. Mm -hmm. Damn, just that's describe crazy. my Saturday we night. Just, Yo, we were talking <laughs> Yo. about that shit the other day with Vice. You know what I'm saying? That's and that's and that's really like what it is. Because well, I mean, we, we ain't got no. Where will we be at? Matter of fact, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna say this right now. I was last Friday. 
I was so upset. It's, it's, it's the last Friday, Friday before. I was so upset. I was in Vice, you know what I'm saying? And I'm sitting there and I'm looking. And I'm looking at Vice and it's packed. It's lit. And it's all us in there. It looked it looked like the Oak Room, man. It was a it was a Saturday actually. It was a it was a Saturday before not this past Saturday, it's last Saturday. Yo, it looked like the Oak Room. You know what I'm saying? But the whole time everybody in there chilling, drinking, spending all their money. They ain't even thinking about they ain't play a lick of our music in there. Damn. So to me, that's not fun. Mm. Cause we just going out there just to chill and kicking and talking and everything, but nah, mm. this is late night. What I need to chill and just be talking to everybody for? Right. We want to listen to music. We want to vibe. Yeah, I'm talking about they ain't even playing. Not even no Drake. You know what I'm saying? Not even no. They ain't even play no Justin Bieber. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, not nothing. Like, and I'm just sitting there like, damn. And I, I just was upset. I'm like, man, this this ain't it. This ain't it. You know what I'm saying? And the only time I go to 500 Pearl is when Gav DJing. It's in and Dovey. You know what I'm saying? Cause they, cause they admit they play. You know what I'm saying? They get that mix in, but even they be getting barked on. You know what I'm saying? For you know what I'm saying? Playing the music, playing too much hip hop music, playing that house music. And I get it. You know what I'm saying? Play the house music. You know what I'm saying? Do your thing and all that. But when you see it's all of us in there, like what you, know you, what what you expect? Like, what you think they want to switch it up? They trying to right. cater yeah, to the people that's love. in your establishment right now right. to make you more money. Right. But you know right, how we go. You know how shit. we do. We don't care. We just need somewhere to be. Honestly. To do something. But me, I do it. You know what I'm saying? Right. I did it for years. So you know what I'm saying? I, like When I look at it like that, I'm like, damn. They eating up all our bread. They eating up, we not dying. We ain't circulating that dollars in our, them dollars in our community. We need we need our spots back. I mean, you We know. need our weekly spots. We'd be in the Oak Room. You know we would be in the Oak Room 11 p.m. on a Saturday night. And it'd be lit on Friday night. Eating good, eating good wings, listening to good music, mm-hmm. having a good time with good people. Love to see us have something better than that. I think that Buffalo has the opportunity to be in that new Atlanta. Um, I think that we're in that progressive state that we're, we can take it there, but I, I, there's so many people that move away from here with the talent that they should keep it here mm-hmm. to make it better. Right. <coughs> right. No, that's a fact. But also, it, it come with the economy, too. That's why I, I'm going to say this. I know you said you wanted to get on that. I'm going to touch on it briefly. <laughs> y'all, know why, y'all know what side I'm on. Y'all know what it is. Tomorrow's election day. Yeah. Make sure y'all vote. You know what I'm saying? I encourage you to vote. I encourage you to write down Byron Brown. Well, yesterday was election day. Because oh. this will come out on Wednesday. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yesterday was well, <laughs> <laughs> y'all know what he meant, damn it, uh, shit. Y'all know what he meant. Y'all know what he talking uh, about. <laughs> well, police. Well, if we, if you're watching this right now, <laughs> you should have voted, damn it. Well, if you're watching this right now, salute to whoever wins. <laughs> <laughs> right down by Brown. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I I I, I salute India Walton for everything that she's doing. You know what I'm saying? For for her even you know what I'm saying for pushing it and, and going after her, chasing after her dream and everything. You know what I'm saying? I just, me personally, I mean, Byron, the, the path that Byron's on, I know because I've been a part of it. Mm-hmm. The path that he's on, where he's going to take it, you know what I'm saying? With the development and everything with the city, it's going to create so much more for us. You know what I'm saying? So much more. It's going to bring that, what we missing back down here yeah. get to, to the city. You know what I'm saying? The entertainment, the shows, the nightlife, the everything. You know what I'm saying? The more businesses, more companies, and all that stuff opening, which is what? More jobs. Yeah. A fact, too. A fact, too. There has never been as many minorities working for the city of Buffalo. For ever. sure. In Absolutely. In history. In the history. In the history. I started working at the Buffalo Sewer Authority in 2013. It was eight black, it was eight black men working there. Now, this is about, you could say 65, 68% that worked there. Mm. Well, that, that's what I was talking about when I said, you know, we can be like that Atlanta. Like, the city is looking real black, looking right. real colorful right now. Um, but one of the things that I was talking about with Matt just the other day, as a matter of fact, yesterday, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yesterday was, like, the politics of it all. Um, one thing that I didn't know was him giving money or get, uh, allowing someone to buy those two lots for a dollar. Millionaire to buy two lots for a dollar. 
when you know someone who's making under 100k a year couldn't buy that mm -hmm. and i understand you know that this is something that people what had two it, lots what two lots was it what canal side is oh okay 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 so Wait, now <coughs> they bought it in, like no nah, before. before it was canal okay yeah right. um and i understand it makes sense okay i want to give this to someone for a low price who i know that can bring it to a standard that we need it at but also that just makes the wealthier more wealthy mm -hmm. and you know leaves right. everybody else who wants that access to wealth to kind of just fend for themselves like well dang I, I, if you were selling it for a dollar i got i got two for you yeah right right right, right. Mm -hmm. Should i give you five <laughs> i got five for you Shit. <laughs> so you know it was things like that that was very challenging and then you see india walton coming in and she wants to do that mm -hmm. she wants to make that available for those people with the two dollars and not the two million dollars right right and i think that that's awesome I, in all honesty um i would rather see them working together than against one another i don't like all the slander that's going around right that's now what from that, both sides. I, that's that was that was that was <laughs> my, my my idea too as, as uh, exactly because i was thinking that too i was thinking i ain't gonna lie for me what i said is i was like man shoot you know what i mean where I need to go is because my thing is this: I don't know her background in politics. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I've I've been involved. I've been around politics since Byron got in office, even before Byron was in office. Because my father's in politics. My my father started with Byron, so I've been on on team Byron, of course, his whole term. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. But you know, before that, we were with uh, <clears throat> Arthur Eve. You know what I'm saying. But you know, Byron was in politics before he was mayor. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He was senator before he was mayor. You know what I mean? So he had that background. My thing with, with you know what I'm saying? Like, you you stepping into as mayor. You not just coming in there. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I see where she what she wants to change and where she's where she coming through at. That It definitely needs to be worked on. I see where she coming. But you got to understand, you got to control. You got to cover the entire city. You yeah. got to cover everything in the city. It can't just be that. You know what I'm saying? And you got to deal with whatever budget you got. You know what I'm saying? that The politics is crazy. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's the game, that, that po the political game is crazy. Me, personally, I hate it. I don't like being involved with it at all. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? At, I'm talking about at all. I don't like being involved with it at all. You know what I'm saying? But I do know what I know about it. You right. know what I'm saying? What right. I see. Right. So that's why, I, you know what I'm saying, I encourage. In all honesty, if you don't mind being completely transparent, how well of a job do you think he has done throughout his years in office since you're so close to it? I think he did good. I think I think he did very well. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I it's I think he has he's had uh, the ups and downs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, but I think that you know f as far as throughout the years you know what i'm saying he did his thing mm -hmm. you know he held it down one thing one thing i one thing i'll say that you know what i mean that that i that i didn't it's a couple things that i didn't really like only thing i didn't like the, the situation with the schools which was um i just I, you know like you know what i'm saying a lot of the schools was closing and stuff like that and mm -hmm. then like but yeah i mean but that, that got fixed you know what i'm saying i didn't like that and then um you know you know the crime, man. You know the crime in the town is wicked. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Murder rate is high. You know what I'm saying? But then, but that also don't, I, I'm not faulting that blame all on Byron. You know what I'm saying? He's appointed people to work these jobs and work these positions. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, he, he not going out there, you know what I'm saying, trying to solve the crime and right. stuff like that. So I ain't, I ain't, I ain't faulting him on that, but. You know that was that was really what it was. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people complain about potholes and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, it's a damn potholes. It's my only it's argument. Damn thing it! About the potholes, man, it's, it's gonna happen every year, no matter what. It's gonna happen every year because because the city we live in, the snow every yeah. year. You gotta put salt now. It's gonna tear up the ground every year. You gonna get potholes. It's gonna get worse and worse. So all you can do is just and and you can't feel it while you still got the snow going on because it's gonna make it worse. It won't. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna be right. So you gotta let the you know what I'm saying? Tom, by the way. And you know what's crazy? We ain't even got the worst part. Yo, you ever been to Houston, bro? Yo, Houston is crazy, bro. 
Yo, I ain't gonna lie, he right. Driving Houston, Houston potholes are fucking dry, ridiculous. Yo, it's either potholes or fucking speed bumps everywhere yo, you go in Houston. Yo, nah, they potholes, everywhere. bro. They potholes is crazy, like like crazy, like 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 scary crazy, bro. <laughs> For real, like I ain't gonna lie. So before we leave off this topic, um, you brought up you brought up crime and how you said that he doesn't necessarily have direct impact on that. And that's something that I, I would have said once before. Um, but then this guy, he told me otherwise. And when I asked last year about defunding the police, um, I'm like, well, what is that going to do? And then he gave me the explanation of, well, that money that's given to the police can now go into other organizations that can keep people off of the streets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so... I would like to see that. I haven't seen it yet. And I think that it could work. Because I think that the police get it, here get a lot of money. Am I right? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, you know, they, they get their shake. But to touch on to that point, I definitely <laughs> feel like there are a lot more people that have said um, programs. I'm pretty sure a lot of things that you've done have gotten people off of the streets, you know, mm -hmm. just seeing better things for themselves. And mm -hmm. I feel like what I hear most from people is not that, oh, this police, like, Increasing police presence helps keep me in the house. You know what I'm saying? It's those after-school programs, just them basketball, them sports programs to right, say, oh, right. this football saved my life. You know, people say stuff like that. And that's the kind of things that I feel like we should be more investing, especially on the east side of Buffalo. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. that's we all east side Buffalo, you know what I'm saying? So we trying to – that's the kind of stuff I want to see as opposed to increasing the – police budget or even across the country the military budget you know what i'm saying yeah i definitely don't think we need to be increasing no police budget right you know what i'm saying i mean no disrespect <laughs> shout out to my boys that is cops you know what i'm saying i want you to eat but right. we don't need to, <laughs> listen we definitely need to be tapped in we got to make sure them schools is gravy you know what i'm saying and, and you know like i i don't i don't i don't i'm not against that idea you know what i'm saying that's 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 not a bad idea and invest in more in preventatives than in reaction, reaction. exactly mm -hmm. so like they you, you do the same thing in the medical field where especially here in america well I, the only place in america um where we invest more money into pill pushing than we do into giving someone rehab or programs right. that they don't have to go and push those and push pills on people that's right they want to pill you up <coughs> man. that's all they want to do is pill you up huh take this Call me in the morning. Yep. You know, but then I, <laughs> I'm, you so, I'm so empathetic. I have to think like, dang, well, it, let's say, let's let's relate this to, to, let's say, a doctor who's prescribing someone a diet. Like, most people aren't going to follow the diet. So, well, I guess I have to give you this pill because I know you're not going to follow the diet anyway. So, what's the point of me even wasting my time? Mm -hmm. right. And so, it's it's like... Well, it's like a catch twenty two almost. It's yeah, like you don't. You not everybody do wants to do better, even <laughs> right. though we you want better for someone. Not everybody wants to do better, mm -hmm. and that sucks. Yeah, it does. It definitely does. You know what I'm saying? Because you want to, you definitely want 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 your best for all, for everybody for all your people. You know what I'm saying? I want the best for everybody. I want everybody to, you know what I'm saying? Live out their dreams. I don't want nobody to be like, I, I, man, you know what I really, what I really want? I want everybody to be happy, bro. Facts. That's the Real best talk. thing in the world. Right? <laughs> <laughs> just be happy. You know that's facts. Be happy. be happy with doing whatever it is you're doing. If that's what you're doing and you love that shit, man, do that shit. No matter what it is. Don't let nobody else tell you. You know what I mean? Because I ain't going to lie. To these the past couple years, the last couple years working my job, I was miserable as fuck, bro. Yeah. And the job was easy as hell. Yeah. It was easy as hell. I go in there, you know what I'm saying? But it was like, yo, I'm wasting <clears throat> time. My days is in here. It's mm -hmm. like they say, easy yeah. money is not always the best money. Mm -hmm. It's not. It might be good, yeah, but if you ain't happy, right. sojourner quick, and you can't. Shit, and you I can't, quit. Yeah. And, and I can't he quit. Make money, it, it, it's hard for me to make money while I'm there. You yeah, know what I'm saying That's outside. I'm, I'm making whatever this wage. Yeah, is. It's exactly. You, know you work. 20, you know you work 20, at forty twenty-five <laughs> an hour. That's what I'm right. making. Okay. You know, you get a set check, but you sitting there like, I could have did this shit in three hours and right. been home. And, and now was the time event. to go get my. And now was the time to and capitalize to, on like, that. Man. In you 2009, that mindset wasn't there, I don't think. Absolutely I think, not. Like, I, I think 25, 25, that's all you want to pay me? Like, mm. 
I need a hundred. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. need more than that, you know. Like it, like we. I I used to think that could be a lot. I used to say, when I was in high school, you can just give me a forty thousand dollar job, Word. nice house. Yeah, I'm facts. good to go. Yeah, because now the cost of living in Buffalo was like day. that. If you yeah. had a forty thousand dollar job, you know what I'm saying, you was able to get by and it make it look good. Yeah. Yeah, now I'm like, but now I was like, what the fuck is this shit? That fuck, is, I'm gonna do with this? Fuck, I'm gonna do with this? Looking bro. at these apartments, bro, got me like, what the fuck kind of shit y'all think I'm on? <laughs> it's because and it's because it's out there. So it's like, why can't we get? Why well, I can't get it? Yeah, mm-hmm. some, somebody you know gonna saying? get it. It well, might as well be me. It. It's these phones that has allowed That's us what it is. to see what we can do, and I think that honestly, whoever. <laughs> Whatever genius um, or you know, creator decided that you know these were the way, these were the future. Thank you, because mm-hmm. uh, they're gifting the curse though. Yeah. They definitely That's a gift and a curse. Sure. It's a gift and a curse, man. For sure. It's definitely a gift and a curse, man. Because I ain't gonna lie, man. The way them joints got the kids distracted, man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah for me. sure. I don't like it at all <laughs> because you know what I'm saying them kids. Because the kids is, is 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 relying on that. They leaning on that. Remember my mama used they to tell my ass, ass to get the fuck out the house and go outside. Shit. Saying. They don't even want to go outside. Whole summertime, you got to force kids to go outside. These That's kids are even, thick, even when they outside, they walk it's around. Yeah. They uh, you literally call, you sit call all day and watch other tablet. people do fun shit. Yeah, these, right. these, like, That's <laughs> it, though. Sit there, like, they sit there like, oh, I'm about to watch a new YouTube. That's the craziest part. They literally Go make the YouTube yourself. Don't watch it, make it. These do pranks on other people. But then they sit there and It's like, damn. But, but shit, we just as bad, though, as adults, because we sitting there, we ain't watching YouTube yeah. like that all day, but we on that gram. Oh, yeah, we absolutely. We on Twitter. Yep. You know what I'm saying? We on the book. I love the gram. Snapchat. <laughs> I love it. I love the gram. Because <laughs> I just lost my gram, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it was about to be World War III. Three. Somebody really just robbed me on Instagram, bro. You felt like your heart like, dropped. That's like, really crazy. Like, like, they really they held your shit like, for I'm, ransom, I'm, though. I'm on my page. My joke is just live. I'm yo. Like, yo. <laughs> they really held your shit for ransom. Like, that's so like I need four hundred in Bitcoin. For your chain, bro. It's like they like, bro, four hundred dollars, bro. That's it. They was trying to make a come up for. They yo, said but, I need. But Bitcoin. you know what he told me? You know what he told me? He's like, yo, I want money. He's like, man, bro, I don't want the account. I have a million accounts. Oh shit! So I went the only one. That so that four hundred. Yeah, that shit add up. He ain't greedy. Yeah, he ain't greedy. He know what he doing. <laughs> he get four hundred from everybody and million I'm people. He know what he doing. You the fact that you're respecting it. It's a hustle. It's a hustle. It's a game. It's a hustle. Like, you it's gotta hustle. do what you gotta do. But at the end of the day, I was dumb enough to to. to it ain't like you just hacked shit. I was dumb enough to to think something was wrong with my shit and re-log into my shit. So I so so he hustled me. He hustled me. I ain't gonna front. So That's I, how they get I, you I, now. I, I, they send they you the look emails and all that. I lost respect it. I lost like I said, you hack my shit. Don't ask me for shit. You can have it. Yeah, it's quiet, bro. I'm making a new one, bro. The grand with y'all. y'all been making a new one. You to pay four hundred to get the grand back for the for Instagram. Yeah, I might, I might have to that. do it. For <laughs> Instagram, where's that, where's that right now? I would have paid. I got a lot of connects on my Instagram. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. A lot of connections. This, this worth something. See, yeah, that's <laughs> worth more than four hundred at the that's end of the day. Facts. You're gonna make more you know than four saying? off them connects. So like, you know, fuck it's, it. It's crazy. We say this. And then Instagram is going to be like, it's a dollar a month to use our services. Then it's ten dollars a month. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, how let's, it's let's start. Let's let's not say this on air. Yeah. <laughs> they they hearing that. They hearing that right like, now. You know we. we hey, we got, do we not use Apple. that as Yo, a clip. Don't, don't use that as a clip. It it's over. Even matter at this point. We got Apple watches on. It's iPhone. Yeah, yeah. They, they already they done heard everything. They already what are they going to say? What you going to do? Stop using it. <laughs> it's like you got to get gas for your car, right? <laughs> That's how they go look at it like that. I think what it is is. Well, if it's a dollar, everybody's still gonna use it. Yeah, yeah. they gonna be but, it's, but if it's if it's like ten, they could charge it like a subscription, bro. Yeah. Like ten dollars, like Apple Music is is nine ninety nine. For the record, though, if y'all do do this, everybody sitting here need a part. I'm just saying, we threw that idea out there they for y'all. We need a part. What uh, they the net neutrality. <laughs> nah, They're what it is is if we do do that, we start the, we start another joint. For Absolutely. Facts. You know what I'm saying you're right. Yeah, so for sure. Really, to play that, bro. I'm telling but, you, get some tech people. Whip up your own app, bro. Let's be honest. We decide where the money goes. Right. Right. We do. Absolutely. But we but we we decide where it goes, but we 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 uh we trained to take it certain places. True. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? You condition where to it don't that. need to be go. We condition right. to it. Where it don't need to go. Where it don't need to go. Real talk. You know what I'm saying, and we do it. We do it. We sometimes, and we do it like 
it's not like we don't we we not we doing it like you know what I'm saying purposely like like t- to spite you know what I'm saying our community that's just what we accustomed to I got on Tim's you know what I'm saying we wear Tim's we go and wear Tim's shit I you know don't you don't fuck with Tim's I, I wear Docs right? <laughs> I don't I mean but okay but okay you, know I'm saying you don't but majority I mean like, I'm not like our Tim's. culture everybody wears Tim's me wears Tim's you know what I'm they saying? just I mean they I get they why they wear them play yeah. with strings like exactly. as a news but but that's how we dress yeah that's part of the culture. It's part of the culture. So we're Definitely not even is. thinking, we're not even going to take it back. Even look at me and myself. It's how we dress. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Remember Tommy Hilfiger? Everybody boycotted Tommy Hilfiger for like three, four years. Things came right back. It went right Tommy back. crazy. <laughs> That's you a know fact. what I'm saying? It's just That's it's, a it's, fact. It's like we, we accustomed to a Gucci. They got can- they canceled Gucci. Gucci. Gucci came right back. And then the crazy thing is we going, we spending Bands, we spending money, we spending top dollar to go get the same belt that everybody else got. I right, my money here. That's what oh, I'm yeah, saying. I got on the right <laughs> taste. That's fire. Yeah. Cafe, fire. You know what I'm saying? Look at me, I'm Dookie. I ain't got no buffalo on today. <laughs> <laughs> but normally I do. I, I always got me some shit on. I always got me some buffalo shit on. Normally, but you know what I'm saying. But Cafe, the hardest hat, the, the greatest hat in the world. To I ain't gonna drop, lie bro. to you. That shit. I ain't it. gonna lie to you. I damn near got every color of these. I ain't gonna lie to you, and, and and the new shit that I seen, I'm telling y'all right now, this nigga, this nigga, this nigga, William Esco. You know what I'm <laughs> this yo, yo, biz, Esco. I'm, I'm gonna be hearing you soon. I need some it's more. On another level. It's on another level. And shout out to all my family, man. That's doing their thing, man. Don't watch TV, man. <laughs> yo, the man got Haji. Don't watch TV, Haji World, my family. Mm-hmm. These fools got everybody in the world wearing they shit. That could yeah. be collab. The top artists crazy. in Crazy. The top people in they shit. Buffalo. Not even just the Kisubi collab. They other shit too. They they solo shits. Joey Badass on Complex with the jo- uh, um, Don't Watch TV. Do- you right. You right. You right. He that did no have that joint on. That ain't okay, Kisubi. That's Don't Watch TV. Word. And he, and he, and he got something. And, and Don't Watch TV got something cooking up. Crazy music too, you know what I'm saying? Everybody you know doing their thing. working on new music. Ice Lane, wait till that, wait till that Bob's Uncertainties drop. Love album. Death of Deuce gonna be crazy. Free Rose gonna be crazy. Shots album. You know what I'm saying? God don't make mistakes. It's just gonna take y'all out of here, man. There's so much going on. So much to look look forward to. You know what I mean? We are absolute. Watch how I transform. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Watch how I transform the absolute way. That's smooth. The absolute way. And I ain't talking about absolute vodka, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm nah, you got to use that you for your saying? clip, lads. You there you go. That's that. your clip right there. <laughs> right there. For the podcast and the gym. The there you go. Right there. That's it right there. We are. Uh, yeah, we want a piece of the pie. You want a piece of the pie? What no, you no, no. Like do? we, like we, we're here. I you know? see you. And uh, I don't think we're going anywhere. Mm-hmm. So uh, we ain't going nowhere. Yeah, I ain't going nowhere. Y'all better not go nowhere. The streets need keep us. It lit. Yeah, <laughs> the streets do need us. The streets, <laughs> the streets need us. You got some spicy questions? Yeah. Oh yeah, we got some spicy <laughs> questions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> spicy. Favorite part of the show. <laughs> This is spice. I'm over here uh, drinking this pumpkin spice. This <laughs> <laughs> uh, pumpkin, pumpkin spice, spice whiskey <laughs> that uh, Cuzzed over here had, had it to him. I said, you got some to drink? He's like, yeah, man, you know. You got, you see, well, some, some, some granddad sauce. <laughs> <laughs> some granddad <laughs> sauce. Nah, so we're going to tweak the questions a little bit because uh, I want your opinion on these. So yours, uh, normally on Thursdays. Thursdays, Thursday, right? yeah. We do mm-hmm. questions, you know, oh, we put yeah, them right, out to right, the followers, right. you know what I'm saying? On, on so we take a couple Some of them, taking me. talk about them on the pod. So first question we had was, what's a telltale sign that someone's cheating on you? So what you think about that? What's a sign that somebody's like cheating, cheating on you? you? Yeah. Shit. It's plenty of signs. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, what the hell you doing, man? Shit, man. Uh, I mean, it's, it's signs, but it's like, when you, like that's that sign that you know they, 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 that there's somebody cheating on you. I think you just, I think it's when you ain't. I got one. I don't know, man, because, yeah, I, I don't know. You got, that bitch came to my day with another nigga jacket on. I know she was cheating. I got one. Don't worry about listen, it. Listen. You get in the car, 
the uh, seat back. Uh, oh, oh my way God. Way back, <laughs> way back. And you don't even, you're not even tall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but who the hell I mean, honestly, guy? I don't think women is that, is that like slow to not at least adjust the seat, man. <laughs> yeah, Especially right. if Look, you, last time I done had an experience. If you're in a relationship, if you got yeah. a boy, if, if women if have a boyfriend, yeah. she going to fix that seat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you get in a car and it's like no, that, First of all, women, women cheat, bro. Women cheat and they cheat good. Yeah, they do. Women sure. is good at it, bro. I'm so, telling you. They are great. They are Houdini. Oh, the so arguments for, for, we for, have. As a male, as a male, to know when a woman's cheating, man. You got to be Sherlock Holmes. Oh, so, oh it's over. <laughs> you ain't going to never find out until it's too late. Word. It's over. It's, it's over. You find out. Word. Word. Y'all, y'all probably, probably not together, out. together no more. Shit. Already checked you find out. out. I'm about to say, y'all probably not even together no more when you find out she was cheating. I ain't going to lie. Like, last time I got cheated on, bro, I didn't know. <laughs> I, I mean, I ain't had no type of su- su- suspicion of it. I just was like, "Oh, damn!" Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the crazy thing. I always yeah, said though, like, "Yo, oh, shit. if you I ever been cheated on, I probably don't, don't know. know. I'll never know." Oh, I know. Yeah. We know, <laughs> last. You done been through some shit, last. We see. Oh, I know. Yeah, me and last. Well, last done. Last went through the trenches. I don't know, man. I, like, stumbled but I, I, think, I, think, I think, like, for the average person, man, you know what I'm saying? You know it's going to depend on shit. She ain't fucking you. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't fucking you. Bro. She fucking she somebody. Fucking somebody. <laughs> she fucking somebody else. If she, you know what I mean? If she ain't trying to show you that, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It's, I mean, you, you know what I mean? With that lack of interest, you know what I'm saying? But then again, shit, some women is good, man. Some women good. You she, never know. They'll be doing the same. You never know. She'll give you all the love. Next thing you know, she's like, I ain't know for three years. Damn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Three years, hoodwinked, bamboozled, <laughs> led astray, uh, run amok. <laughs> He's so she heartbroken. <laughs> I said, no, not like this, bro. Hey, not broke up. Like she like came this. out. That's why I fucked this nigga. You didn't I even said, know. Not like why is her hurt? This, bro. <laughs> At that I point, don't even tell me, man. Man. Like, Yo, man. like, just keep it to yourself. <laughs> Go to the like, grave with that, man. Keep that shit. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. You did it. Fight me. <laughs> I will. I will say though, just because she caught me cheating, so you know, mm. tiff it's at. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Shit, shit she catch me cheating. Shit, it's damn near over. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna trust you. Cause I know you gonna do some shit. Nah, I, I know you is. Revenge is coming. Like yo, I know you gonna do some shit. Sometimes it depends on the girl. But if you yeah, know, yeah. if you know the girl, yeah. that, that I'm saying got that, got that little, yeah, you know that, that, that little stray up. away, yeah, that little stray away in her. Yeah, yeah. It's nah. like they they don't yeah, hit nah, to get we, even. Let's go ahead and call it quits now. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because I already know what you about to do is quiet. It's going to hurt it's way worse. Hurt. Yeah. Way yeah. worse. Way I'm worse, about to man. back out now before. <laughs> we weak as hell, bro. We yeah, weak as nah. hell. I'm not trying to be the nigga doing the, fu- the we weak fucking voicemail. We can't take it. <laughs> we can't take it. You Next know thing what I know, I'm we on get summer walk it, album. We can't take it. <laughs> Got a whole interlude on the album. Right. Cozy's interlude. Baby, please. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do me like this. <laughs> but uh, one of the, um, to answer that question, one of our followers, they said, um, Telltale sign that someone's cheating on you is that they start picking up Uber shifts at midnight out of nowhere. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I seen that one. I said, "No, nah, that got I'm, it." I'm on the grind. Right. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. The easy. I ain't even gonna. I ain't nah, even gonna go share the sauce. Share the sauce. Matter of fact, I don't even care because I don't work a job though. I ain't gonna no Listen, if you if you if you work over if you work overnight, if you work overnight, do not put yourself in a relationship. Mm. If you work overnight, because man, shit, you know what I'm saying? I was shaking that job, shit. man. Yeah. Well, that overnight, <laughs> somebody got to keep that company. True. If you working That's five out of seven, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Somebody got to keep that company. Get cold at night. It's fact. Yeah, I know he's bustle. saying this. He, he, <laughs> has, he <laughs> hasn't worked in overnight. I just want y'all to know what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I did. I worked overnight. Oh, oh, where? I worked overnight. <laughs> oh, I worked oh. overnight. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. like, I, I ain't saying I ain't throwing it out there. Just throw it out there. I worked overnight, bro. Yeah. But at the same time, I worked overnight. <laughs> <laughs> if you work overnight, shit, you, you, work can, overnight. you can you can go with your shit. You can go with your shit, like yeah. shit. You know what I mean? You, gotta work. you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you better be ready to catch that shit too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because you, know I mean? you ain't home. All they gotta say is shit. Like when you can call it. it Four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, you, yeah. Normally, you normally answer. Shit, I was tired. I was asleep. <laughs> I was asleep. Yeah, yeah, she's sleeping overnight. It's quiet. That's an eight-hour shift. 
Don't do overnight. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. Yo, next question we had was, what's the smallest reason you ever stopped talking to someone? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> smallest thing. Damn, I'm, I ain't going to lie, man. I, I, got, I really fuck, like, if I'm fucking with you, you know what I'm saying, we cool. You know what I'm saying, I'm going to kick it with you. But, like, man, sometimes I get, I, I ain't going to lie, I get annoyed easy, man. I get annoyed easy, man. I remember I, I stopped talking to this girl just because her, you know what I mean, she was fire. Fire, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I think I remember reminiscing, like, damn, fire, damn. <laughs> I, hated, I hated her voice, man. I hated her voice. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, she had a high pitch like, joint. It was like it was like yeah, it was like high mm. pitch, but it was like but like dragged out too. Like uh, oh, oh hell no, nah. uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, it was like <laughs> it was like yeah nah. Was nah, her sneakers clean? This ain't <laughs> this nigga crazy. <laughs> you know First of all, I, yeah, I definitely I, I can't I can't, I can't I, nah. You yeah, can't, me neither. I can't. Uh, what what Boosie say? Dusty feet. Please don't bother me. <laughs> yeah, don't look at me like that. Sorry, this bloodline shit y'all got going on over here. I'm like that. <laughs> like, I try to look over there too. Though. I ain't gonna hold you. I, got I can't. Some shit going I, I can't. On over with here. The sneakers. Nah. Yeah, bro. yeah, me neither. See, my last name Shoemaker, man. You gotta come to yeah, the pod. Gotta come clean for Jay. <laughs> I'm a waller. Dusty T, please don't bother me. <laughs> shoes gotta be right. Shoes gotta be right. Yeah. But uh, one of our followers, they said they ain't know how to spell Wednesday. And <laughs> 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 I want to speak up for you. I understand, baby. Wednesday could be a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I don't, think, I don't think I'm gonna stop. I ain't gonna somebody. lie. Wednesday was the only day out of the week for a minute I couldn't spell. I ain't yeah, gonna that lie shit, to you. That, that ending like, that like, shit, like, where the fuck did in come from? Like, it, like, it could throw you off. It's yeah. like, like, how did they do it? Did they huh? just like, try to send them a message Nesday. and they didn't spell yeah. it right? Yeah. Yeah, or did they did they keep not spelling that shit right? Like that was like, all right, bro. Yeah, like, if it was just a one time yeah, thing, it was like, ah, I'm a letter right. But if every right, time right. you spell Wednesday, you still forget like just three repeat. letters, yeah, we yeah. got a problem. Yeah. The vo- Matter of fact, I, ain't, I can't even say that's a small reason because the voice ain't going to change, bro. That's exactly <laughs> the reason why. The voice ain't going to change. Every morning you wake, good morning. Wait, no. no. Nope. Word. Nah, in the first thing in the morning. Da, 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 da. Yeah, word. Peace out. No overnight. It's <laughs> quiet. <laughs> And, your, and, and, your, and, 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 and ugly feet, man. Yeah. Can't do it. Mm-hmm. Feet yeah, last be, love feet. Them feet gotta be teed. Mm-hmm. Feet. Mm-hmm. Feet gotta be teed or it ain't no way. Fuck with that. All right, so boom. So next one we had was, uh, what would you say if you saw a friend cheat? <laughs> one of my friends? Yeah. <laughs> like, one of y'all? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what would I say to who? Uh, you pick. You dirty Love dog. You. Uh, nah, I'd be like, uh, uh, you know, like yeah, these niggas cheat every day. <laughs> <laughs> cheat every niggas day. Cheat baby. every day, man. Yeah. All right, hey, what you do is what you do. I ain't got nothing to do with it. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Ladies, I, I just know. want y'all to know. I'm letting these guys know you can't do that to her. You know, you can't. Can't do do. Oh, the fuck is you talking about? Yeah, you can't do that. Last gonna give you a stand. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna tell you like this. I'm gonna tell you like this. You know what I'm saying, bro? We getting old. You know what I'm saying? We getting up there. You know what I'm saying? We we'll put it out there. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't in no relationship. But when I do, you know what I'm saying? I'm not fucking around. What is no the coincidence? I am not fucking around no more. You heard? Mm. You know what I'm saying? What, what, what's going on over there? They, they, That's they, the they, sound they, system. Now they, they probably watching Halloween. Every, every night. They lit. Every yeah, night. they team. Every night. There. Yeah, but nah. I'm, 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 I'm coming. Dave Hollister, one woman, man. You heard? You know what I'm saying? When that time <laughs> come. When that time come. Bro. You know what I'm saying? One woman is beautiful. WTTB matchmaking. Yeah, so you already said we put in the works. Yeah, so why you in our call, Les? Find me somebody fire. One woman. Say this. We, can do that. <laughs> we got you. Somebody raw. We got you. Somebody, somebody, somebody raw, man. Somebody that can be Miss Juice, man. Miss. You know she's somebody that can be thought OJ. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> no, that's a good one. But now, nah, one of the followers, they told us that they would yell at them initially, but hit them on the side like, if she got a friend. Yeah, <laughs> gonna try to get on that time right, too. Try to get that time too. <laughs> nah, 
Facts. But then, then we do the uh, little poll thing that we got going on. So we take a take a gander at everybody mm-hmm. and you know put the question up, and then mm-hmm. we let the we let the people pick. So the question was, which WTCB member is the most likely to DM a shorty to hard eyes? So Quan, <laughs> you got you got one vote. Last, you got one vote. Right. Jay, you got four votes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got four votes. I mean, Jern get. <laughs> Jern has ten. Damn. <laughs> oh, yo, ass. Yo, yo I ain't gonna lie, Jern, yo, man. Yo, crazy thing is, I, I don't think I voted that one, but I was definitely gonna vote for him. Nah, that man it's got definitely him, bro. It's I definitely never, him. We ain't never have no gap like that, bro. Ten. Shout out to Jern, man. Shoot your shot, brother. Shoot your yes, shot, sir, brother. Jer. Wish you was here, buddy. Buck, yeah, buddy. Yeah, Bucko, man. Bucko, look at me. You don't know who you don't know who you find in that joint. You might find the one, or or not. But <laughs> change. <laughs> you might find the one. There's only one way to find out. You might find the one night. Shit. Then the next one we had was which WTTB member is still in their whole phase. So, <laughs> Quan, you got zero. Of course. You know, Laz, you got zero. Yeah. Jay, you got zero. <laughs> Respectfully. I got six. <laughs> and Jerner got six. That makes sense. It, it makes sense, though. That makes y'all sense. Got, y'all got girlfriends. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. Right. Right. I'm saying. Yo, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will <laughs> kick they ass if I saw them cheating. I'm telling y'all right now. I'm putting this way. If I saw the, any of these three cheating, I would kick their ass, and I would dis, and, and I would never talk to them again. Yeah. There you go. That's, that's you heard it. You, you heard it. You heard it here. So you heard it here first. You heard it here. First. You heard it here. TV, only them know. Anybody else is on cheating. I don't care. <laughs> God is good. God is good all the time. All the that's time. our last day of speech. Is. They say, say something. That, say that's it. on the corner of his eyes. Started ordering good. real quick. All the time. And all the time. God is we good. got our got our word of the day. <clears throat> I promise I didn't make this up. I really promise. Bro, you make every <laughs> word up you come with. I promise. It sounds like another word, but it's spelled differently. It's, it's Philip. I'm sorry. What? Like <laughs> Philip Banks. <laughs> Wait, I, like Philip Banks. God, word? I didn't make it up. It's F I L L I P. What? <laughs> What the hell? Where the fuck do you be finding these words, bro? Oh, my brother is a noun. He has an app. <clears throat> I do have an app, actually. It's a word app. Yes, it is something which acts as a stimulus or a boost to an activity. So, my sentence for this week is, having OJ on the pod provided a Philip to the group. Fire. <laughs> I see what you did there. Yep. But once again, you, brought it back. you made this fucking yeah. word up, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. I swear to God, I did. I ain't heard a normal word since season one. Mm-hmm. I haven't. I haven't either. I, I think we only had one normal word. I haven't yeah, heard a word that I'm right, the, the first really, episode. Look, he had context. he had the dictionary version yeah, pulled up already because right he knew there. we was gonna question it. Any type of context. That's fine. I'm not using yeah. Philip. I'm using that shit. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that shit on the T. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. Gives a good Philip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he used it right. Nigga named Philip around yeah. like, huh? Are oh, you talking about me? No, not you, that? motherfucker. What's going on, man? What the fuck you call me good, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you mean I'm a boost, nigga? <laughs> oh, Yo. shit. Hey, you need to get their sound bad. system. <laughs> yeah, they got eight teams. Man, I'm about to so I just go knock on the door and find out what it is. That's man. Dolby. That's that's that probably Dolby. is though. Top oh, notch. They got the sound bar, the two speakers yeah. on the side. This shit going crazy. Stereo. <laughs> <laughs> but man, cuz we really appreciate you for sitting down with us. I appreciate y'all man. for having me. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to what they talking about. You know what I'm saying? WTTB. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucking hip hop karaoke is back, bitch. Mm-hmm. Is back November 28th. We back Sunday fun day. Tickets be out this Wednesday. Tickets to be out today. Today, tickets, yeah, tickets today. Be out. Yeah, yeah. Be out. So when you tickets listen, out tickets, is, tickets out. is out right now. You yeah. you heard it here. Matter of fact, yeah, tickets out right now. Tickets yeah. out right now. Go no excuses tickets. right now. No excuses. Mm-hmm. You already know what's going down. You know already. I'm. I, hey, listen, y'all. I'm kind of loopy now. I got special guests. I got friends. <laughs> <laughs> Got friends, they calling, saying they pulling up. So you already know what it is. We'll be, be there. there. For that, you know what I'm saying? Um, Christmas weekend. Save the save, save the date, December 18th. Start looking up for them gowns and them dresses, and them suits. 
You know what I'm saying? Because you, you got to be, we, we got to come high, high fast. I'm talking about big red carpet, all type of paparazzi mm -hmm. outside, hosting the joint, you know what I'm saying? Backdrops, everything, you know what I'm saying? Cocktail hour, everything, you know what I'm saying? We're going to do silent auctions, you know what I'm saying? Any any uh, companies that want to do some donations and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Businesses, want to do some donations, you know what I'm saying? Patch in with me, you know what I mean? Like I said, we can give you a live show. It's going to be amazing, you know what I'm saying? Shout out, to, once again, one more thing. Shout out to WTTB. And before I get off here, y'all already know what it is. I cannot leave this podcast without saluting the greatest ever to walk this earth. And that's my motherfucking brother, my motherfucking RJ Weez. You know we miss you. You know we love you. You know what I'm saying? Keep shining on us. And stop fucking with me too, man. Weez be <laughs> fucking with me. I'm telling y'all, Weez be fucking with me. That Weez, the reason why my motherfucking luggage got lost, he did that shit. He be fucking with me. I'm telling you, crazy shit. We, I was driving in New York the other day, uh, Saturday, driving to New York, and I'm driving, right, and it's a hawk flying down. I'm looking at the shit. This hawk is going to get whatever it is. Yeah. He is tunnel vision, hawk eye. I don't, and I, as I'm, I'm driving down, what the, I'm driving right to that shit. Don't I hit the hawk? This mother oh, I, I saw shit. it happen. <laughs> Final destination shit. If I was any later, it would have went through the windshield. Damn. Damn. I hit the top of the hit the top of the vent. Swear to God. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Final destination. <laughs> Weez, man. Weez be fucking with me, man. Weez be fucking with me. I done lost my AirPods. I, I blame everything on Weez. Why you keep fucking? I know you up there laughing. I know that nigga. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to you, man, forever, man. Everything for Weez forever. Absolutely. You already know. Absolutely. Shout out to my family. Thank y'all. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Keep it going. Keep it jumping. <coughs> Man. Hopefully, I'll be back soon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some more. Some more. Some more. Some more stories. I got stories. I still got. Stories. I got a lot of stories, but I know we. You know what I'm saying? We short on time. I'll come back and tell some more. <laughs> we definitely gonna have you open back. door. Definitely. You know. Anytime. Anytime, Anytime. cuz. I ain't tell you about that time I, I fell asleep watching the playoffs with. With my bro KD, you know what I'm saying? After, <laughs> after he dropped 32, you know what I'm saying? You know, went chill with him and watched the Lakers. And then, you know what I'm saying? I was tired as hell. Fell asleep. You know, KD. Your dad told me that story halfway. Yeah. He's like, you was there. He was like, oh, yeah. shit. I'm, yo, I'm here. Pool parties at Puff Crib and shit. Oh, I can't wait to hear you. Not facts. <laughs> oh, that right there. On the next episode. You know <laughs> Part two. It's a lot more. It's a lot more. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? I'm grateful nah. for Journey. Thank you, cuz. Keep doing what you're doing, man. For real, Definitely proud of you, inspired man. by you. For sure. For sure. Like, me personally, inspired, well, inspired by you. You already know we got to keep inspiring each other. Got to keep each other going. You know what I mean? That's what we going to do. Can't let each other lack, man. Can't let each other slack. Let's Never. Keep it going. Let's do it. Everything for Weez falls up. Everything for Weez falls up. Everything for Weez. Yo, Jay, bring me gang. in. You already know. Man, y'all could have been anywhere in the world. But you're here with us. We out. Yeah, Jerner. Yes. Fuck you, nigga. We don't need you, bitch. We don't need you. Jerner, look at me. I am the captain now. <laughs> <laughs>